guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back so today I have a kind of like a cumulative haul um, I've done about three different orders on Topshop their autumn winter stuff is coming into season now and I'm obsessed with everything on the website um, and then also I've done a little order from and other stories so I only have two things from there um, but all of them I have tried and tested and I think you guys will love them so I will leave everything that I show you down below and the sizes and all that jazz down there and I really hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm going to just start pulling randomly. I'll start with or start with and other stories because I wore this yesterday on Instagram and so many of you loved it and so many of you ended up buying it. This is the most beautiful dress. It's a knitted uh, midi dress. It's kind of got this like wrap detailing um, and it's in this gorgeous kind of nudie minky colour. I'm obsessed. It's like a really light, it's coming up quite a little bit more brown on camera but I would say it's more kind of like, how would you describe it? Kind of like a stony mink. Um, I absolutely fell in love with this on the website. I think it looked so cool. I thought the silhouette was really nice. I feel like it's quite different to a lot of the midi dresses I have where I find them to be a little bit more smart when they're knitted. Um, whereas this one, as you can see on the top, literally, I mean, it just looks like a casual jumper. So it's got the really nice crew neck. It has these really gorgeous big sleeves and then tighter little cuffs there. Um, so this wrap detailing, you'll see it better in the cutaway, but it's not a full on wrap. It's kind of like a fake wrap. Let me unbutton it. So that's the dress obviously and then this is just like a little bit attached over the front so it gives the effect but it's not actually a full-on wrap i only got this i want to say like two days ago um and i've been wearing it non-stop i've been wearing it to leave the house i've been wearing it to chill in it's very very comfortable it's lovely and soft um it's also quite a close knit so i think it will actually keep you relatively warm throughout spring some <laughs> I keep doing this throughout autumn winter and also it's a super easy piece to layer with because you can literally just stick on like a little black top under it and things like that so um yeah I'm really really happy with it it's a good length too it comes to about mid calf I'm seeing it I've been wearing it with boots or slippers um but I am seeing it with chunky trainers and maybe like a blazer or a leather jacket and um yeah I think it's going to be a really great piece to bring me throughout the next few months I also will 100% be wearing this with black sock boots and then a little handheld bag. I think it will take you easily from day to night as well. So um, yeah, I got this one in a size small. Could have gone down a size, definitely, but um, it does fit me perfectly and having the extra room allows, as I said, for layering underneath it. So that's my first bit. So I guess I will just stick with and other stories. Um, because I only have, actually I do have another piece to show you. I'm going to show you that in this week's vlog. So this is a knitted jumper. It's coming in to that time of year when my knitwear obsession comes into full swing and I have to literally be so strict with myself not to keep buying knits because I have so many but I just love them so much. So this one was a little bit different and I had to pick it up. This was £98 by the way. This jumper is £85. So this is in a very traditional kind of cable knit print print style and um, it's a beautiful thick cozy knit it's gorgeous it's got a crew neck it's got that kind of cable knit detailing all over the front if you can see there and then just simple long sleeves and tighter cuffs as well i will say right off the bat if you are somebody who can find certain materials itchy this is not the jumper for you i personally don't find it a problem but i know like i've grown up watching my twin every time she tried on something that wasn't really soft she'd be like no get it off me can't do it <laughs> so if you are like that i would probably not advise buying this i've just got the material up so it is 57% wool 23% polyester and 20% alpaca but as I say I find it completely comfortable if it does get a little bit itchy I would just stick a long sleeve um like top underneath it so this is what it looks like as I said I really like this color it's not the typical cable knit color where it's like more white than this color you can probably see this one it's kind of a good match to the champagne top I'm wearing now it's kind of like a deeper cream which I really like um, but the star of the show is on the back. So it has this little crop detailing here. I'm butchering this, but you will see it obviously in the cutaway. But it comes down into this little kind of panel bit and then you have this gorgeous little bow on the back, which I've tried on as well and it does, the crop bit comes past your bra, so you don't need to worry about what bra you're wearing or anything like that, which is very, very handy. But um, yeah, I just thought, especially for autumn, maybe not so much winter because you get cold back, but coming into autumn when it is a little bit chilly, but it's not freezing, you could just stick this on with some jeans and you've got that really cute detailing on the back there. So really, really love this one. And I think it's a take on a very classic piece. It's kind of just adding something extra into it, which I'm obsessed with. Okay, moving on to Topshop. We have a lot of basics, actually. Um, Topshop, I think I've said this 
a thousand and one times on YouTube, but Topshop is my absolute go-to for basics throughout the whole year. But I think especially coming into autumn winter, their knits are amazing, their coats are amazing. And then of course they have all their jeans as well. So I've got quite a lot of basic pieces, but they all will add to my capsule wardrobe, which is very, very handy. So the first is a little black knitted jumper. Very, very simple. Again, you're not gonna see much of it sat like this, but you will see it in the cutaway. I'm gonna just stop right now and say, again, I still have builders working on the house next door and it is doing my head in. So if you can hear it, I'm very, very sorry, but there's literally nothing I can do. So any background noise, please just try and ignore it. Okay, back to the jumper. It's a very simple, big, chunky, cozy, standard knit. Um, it isn't the thickest knit, so it is actually quite a thin jumper, which is nice. It means you'll get it under leather jackets, you'll get it under blazers, um, but also it might not keep you that warm. So again, with this kind of thing, I would just stick on a long sleeve black top underneath it, and it just protects you from like the wind. For this one in a size medium, I would absolutely advise sizing up. I could have easily gone for a large or an extra large. I think it is actually quite a fitted jumper in itself. Um, but I tend to wear my knits a little bit larger than what they're meant to be worn So I would definitely say size up at least one or two sizes um, And yeah, I really like it as I say just a very simple easy piece to have the only thing I will say you can maybe see it happening now um, It's making my hair so Static like so static. It's so annoying. So I think you've got to rub them with what is it you rub them with is it like um, tumble dryer sheets you can rub them and it'll stop that but yeah, apart from that, it's a good little basic. We're actually about two, maybe three hours later from when I last spoke to you because the builders were going off and I had to just take a break. So if I look a little bit different, that is why. So the first was just a jumper that I thought would just be a very handy jumper. It actually turned out to be such a beautiful fit. It's so, so soft. I think I'm gonna have to get it if it comes in any other colors. So it's very simple, as I say. I got it in this um, like nude kind of cream, that uh, nude kind of beige color. It's got a little turtleneck there, so you can roll it or you can kind of just like bunch it. You know, those ones where you can kind of like roll it quite messy. Then I didn't realize this when I bought it, but if you can see the um, ridges on the front there, they're quite thick. And then the arms come into just normal kind of jumper arms. And then on the back, the ribbing is a lot thinner um, spaced than the front. So it's very, very simple detailing, but it actually is just such a beautiful top. I really like how simple it is, but also the little details on it. And then overall, it's just a really beautiful fitting top. So I, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. It's just a really nice top. It fits me brilliantly, super soft. It's a thin knit, not see-through. Um, it's going to be one of those tops that you just reach for all the time, basically. So this one I got in a size small. Can't remember the price, but I want to say it's about the £20 mark. I picked up another top. This has got fake tan all over it. So this needs to be put in the wash, but I thought I would hold it here and show you so again It's a very simple knitted top probably not an outside top for me I think I have touched on this before I don't tend to reach for v-necks so much for out the house But for at home, it's a beautiful little piece. So it's white and again, it's in this um like rib material really really soft material and really lightweight and then it just has lovely long sleeves and it's just a very very basic piece as i say but i've been wearing it tucked into joggers like high-waisted gray joggers or white joggers or any kind of joggers um and also just if i'm like working from home i've popped it on with some jeans and it's just a really easy top to have in the wardrobe and also i think because this is a v-neck and it's also long sleeved and thin um it'll be great for layering under other jumpers or like a top like this for example so really really good little buy again Again, it was in a UK small, and I don't remember the price, but it's about the £20 mark. Then I picked up some jeans. So I obviously just, well, not just now, but a while ago, moved house from Winchester to London, and I did a huge clear out on the Winchester end. Then all my stuff sat in storage here for about two or three weeks. When I was unpacking it, I then, um, did another kind of clear out on this end. So I kind of realized what I do have, what I have too much of, what I don't have enough of. And what I didn't have was a pair of like winter blue jeans. So by winter blue, I mean a dark blue, um, kind of like a blue black color. Um, and I love light blue jeans. I love um, kind of like bleach jeans, but I tend to stop wearing them in the next like month or so, just because I don't think they work too well with my winter wardrobe. So I thought these were a really good alternative. They're still obviously kind of like a navy blue, but they are really dark. And I think from a distance could look a little bit black as well. So these are the Jamie jeans. If you're familiar with Topshop jeans, Jonies are my favorite for skinnies because they're high-waisted. You can get ones with belt loops and they're just really, really great. However, the Jamies are skinny as well, but they're not as high-waisted and they're not as skinny so they're just a really really comfortable and um, skinny jeans. They're the kind of jeans I wouldn't mind sitting at home in and 
not all day obviously I'm not a psychopath but if I'm working from home and I don't want to wear um like a jumpsuit or a dress or you know I want to put on jeans these are the style of jeans I would reach for so as you say they are called the Jamie jeans I always get a waist 25 in Topshop and I get a length 32 um I can go for a length 30 but I went for 32 because they tuck into boots and things and you don't see any skin and yeah I've been really loving them I've worn them with jumpers and leather jackets and I've worn them um, with a few of the tops that I've shown you and a few of the tops I'm going to show you so just a, again a really easy thing to add and a colour that I did not have in my wardrobe I went a bit top crazy <laughs> this I saw okay so the jeans I just showed you um, Topshop had styled it, the model, with this top in black and I thought it was really really cute but I thought white was a nice colour because I'm not going to wear this top out again, it's more going to be an at home or a layering piece. It's very very simple, it's ribbed again, it's in this kind of creamy white but I just really like this neck detailing so it's got this kind of like lace trim um, and then it has these ever so slight kind of like puffy shoulders if you can see there and apart from that it's very very simple, it's long sleeved, nice and tight and the body is nice and tight as well and it's just a really cute simple top so again with this one I thought tucking it into joggies into leggings into normal little jeans if I just want to be comfortable at home this would be a good go-to this one I got in a UK 6 and as you say it comes in black as well but yeah I think it's just a really cute basic piece I think all of it I said this are all very basic things but um just top ups of things that I needed and then the final top I promise you <laughs> it's been quite a lot is a jumper I've got makeup all over this one because it's a bit of a funny neckline so it's white again it's ribbed but it's a different kind of rib in my defense it's not that similar and um, it has long sleeves but they're not super tight so they're just kind of like kind of like a straight a straight cut so you know if you say like straight jeans it's like a straight arm so it's not super tight on your arm it's just a nice long sleeve um, and then it has this really cute kind of like faux what would you call this like a faux high neck one of those tops where it doesn't you know it's not been added or how to describe it it's not been stitched in a crew and then you've got a higher neck it's just like the material comes up higher which i think looks really really chic on however as you can maybe tell it is not great if you um wear makeup because you are most likely definitely going to get makeup on it this one for me was definitely a going out top so i would wear this under blazers i would wear it paired with jeans and with leather trousers and this kind of neck i love as well because if you're wearing Obviously, we're coming into like autumn winter, you've got to start layering up. So, if you wear a leather jacket or a blazer over this, the little neck will stick out the top of the neckline of the jacket and then it lends itself really nicely to a necklace. So, I'm kind of seeing this with a gold like Masoma necklace and then a beige trench coat, and I think that would be really, really cute. So, this one I got in a size small. And then I think I only have one more thing to show you. So, this one I have not worn yet. I have styled it up how many times? twice to go shoot it outside and it's rained every time and um, but i'm really excited to actually start wearing this i think it's so beautiful so this i believe you would call what would you call it i want to say it's like a shacket is it a shacket i'm not sure it's got a really nice collar it's got beautiful big like detail buttons all the way down it and then it has a big huge pocket here and a big huge pocket here and long sleeves and i'm absolutely butchering this but you will be seeing this in the cutaway it's styled up um, and I just thought this was a really really cute piece to have it's not too trendy and it's not too bright and loud and it's not something that's going to go out of style in a week or in a month or next season or next year I think I'm going to get a good few years out of this and it's one of those perfect pieces for this time of year where you don't want to wear a big jacket because it's going to get too hot but also it is not um, warm enough to be wearing just a t-shirt or just a long jumper out so it's a really good kind of like mid-season jacket um, so I started up with very very casually so I did like a white t-shirt and I no I didn't I did that beige jumper I did a black pair of jeans and some trainers and then I wore this open just over as like a shirt and I think it looked really really nice so I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this over the next few months but as you say not limited to but this one I picked up in a UK 8 it was 49.99 which I think is actually a very good price it's good quality it's a heavy piece it is lined as well and I do think this is going to keep the chill off you for the next at least few weeks anyway um and also you can really layer up with these so because I got it in a UK 8 it's not too tight it's not too fitted so when it gets a little bit colder I would probably style it where I would put either a big chunky knit under it or a black hoodie and then black leather trousers Dr Martens and just like really kind of layer up underneath the hoodie so I won't be cold um and yeah I just I really really I really like it I think I'm loving it so much because everything from Topshop was very basic so this is like the first like stylish kind of piece I have um but yeah 
that's the final thing. Hey, so that is the end of the video. I am looking very disheveled, honestly. <laughs> um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It feels so nice to be sat down, at least in my temporary background, filming sit down videos and showing you guys some new in pieces and things like that. There is so many nice things in the shop right now as well. I think all the shops are getting their kind of like really autumn and coming into winter season stock. So um, I'm trying to hold my horses a little bit, but I am doing quite a bit shopping. So if you guys like these videos, please let me know it down below and give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and also I can't believe we're on 90,000 subscribers that actually blows my mind so thanks guys um and yeah everything as per usual will be in the description box and things like that and I will see you all in the next video bye